Okay then, so we saw in the last video how we can use these keyframes right here to do several steps in an animation. So it's gonna go from one keyframe to the next, to the next, to the next, and so forth until it reaches the end. And we did that for scale on this button so that it does something like this. But then it gets to the end of the keyframes and it stops. Now, what if I wanted the animation to carry on? Well, I could just increase the amount of keyframes that I use here, but eventually it will still stop. Now instead, I could use a transition property called Yo-Yo, and Yo-Yo allows us to repeat an animation over and over and over. So where we have basically an animation going from A to B to A to B to A to B, Yo-Yo is a good shout. So what I'm gonna do is actually take this off and just set it back to 1.1 and save it, so that when we hover over the button, it just animates once at the minute to 1.1 times the scale, like so. Now, if I want to repeat that over and over, I'm gonna add a transition property right here, which is an object, and then use a property called Yo-Yo. And I can supply a number of keyframes here. So I could say something like 10, and that would be 10 keyframes. So imagine that we had keyframes right here. It would be like going from one to 1.1 to one to 1.1, and we'd have 10 different keyframes, right? All inside the square brackets that was. But we don't need to do that with Yo-Yo. Instead, we can just supply one number here and then say how many keyframes we want to apply to it. So it's gonna go from its original state, which is just a normal scale of one, to this back and forth, back and forth, 10 times. Well, five times really, because it's 10 keyframes. So let's save that and see what it looks like. If I hover over this in a second, then we should see it go about five times in total. There we go. And that is how we use Yo-Yo. Now, if we want to use this indefinitely, so it's always repeating and it never stops, then we can use infinity right here. So if we use that, then it's just gonna add an infinite amount of keyframes to keep this animation rolling. So if I hover over this now, it's never actually gonna stop. Now, I'm also going to just control the duration of this. So let me do that and say 0.3 seconds and save that and let's try this again okay and i think that just slows it down a little bit okay so that's pretty cool now it never stops now what i'm going to do is copy this kind of hover effect and apply it to the other buttons on the other page because at the minute you can see that these buttons right here they don't have that they just scale at once and they don't repeat any kind of animation and the same goes for this order button at the bottom so let me copy these variants right here, the button variants, then go to the base component, and I'm gonna paste these at the bottom. And then where we have the button down here at the bottom, right here, I'm gonna delete the while hover, and I'm gonna say variants is equal to button variants, and then I'm gonna say while, oops, don't need that comma, while hover is equal to hover which is the name of the property up here that we have in the variants, right, hover. Now I'm gonna do exactly the same thing for the toppings page. So let me paste in the variants at the top and then down at the bottom where we have the button, I'll add those variants on. So button, oops, curly braces, button variants. And then down here, instead of this object, while hover is gonna to equal to a string and that would be the hover property. So let me say this and make sure everything still works. I'm gonna go back to the beginning and go through this. Okay, so this looks like it's working. And the next one, yep, looks pretty good. And finally, this one down here, yep, everything good. Okay, so that's how we can use this yo-yo property right here to infinitely repeat an animation.